What's up guys, in this video we are going to see how to find great freelancers for your social media marketing agency. So let's get right into it. Um, the first thing that I want to talk with you is that if you have a personal brand, you know, a Facebook account, an Instagram account, I want you right now to post an Instagram story about a work that you would uh, want to outsource. You know, it can be Facebook ads, it can be content management, anything that you would want to outsource and actually post on your Instagram story. And you know, you might be surprised how things turns out. You know, it's, it's, it can be somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody. And yeah, always start when you're trying to find people to work with, always start with your family, with your friends. Maybe they know somebody, right? Always start with your power base. So, you know, leverage your personal brand in, all, in order to find great people, you know? And again, you might be surprised how uh, things turns out. You, <laughs> you may not realize how powerful a personal brand is, but you can just find great people there. Now guys, I should have talked about it in the beginning. You need to outsource. Now the best thing you will ever do, you know, it's, it's a sentence that, uh, that I've heard and I think it's the best sentence ever is to work, the best thing that you can do is to work on your business and not in your business. So as a business owner, you need to focus on activities that produces income, sales and operations. And that's, that's basically it. I don't want you guys to do the Facebook ads part, getting results for your clients, to do also uh, the content management. You know, at the beginning of my agency, I was doing everything by myself. And I think it was just a huge uh, waste of time and even waste of money. You know, if, if I had just outsourced everything from the beginning, I would scale uh, uh, like really very, uh, just faster, you know? And so, yes, I want you guys, you must set up systems and processes to have an automated business. I want you guys to just be, to just have a lot of free time so you can focus on sales and operations because that's the blood of your business. I don't want, I don't want you guys to focus on Facebook ads, on finding the right ad sets for your, for your clients. You know, that stuff that should be outsourced. So at the end of the day, your business should be almost like a passive income. But again, that's uh, a little bit contradictory because um, you will always have to do something. You know, you will always have to take care about sales and operations because that's the two things that are the most important for, um, you know, the survival of your business. And yeah, that's the only two things that matter. The rest should be outsourced. And I believe in this so strongly. Um, I think, and this is in my opinion, I think you should never have to do Facebook ads what you should do is to hire a freelancer that is an expert in Facebook ads and then find the clients, you know, and you can just learn Facebook ads with your freelancer. He will explain you everything about Facebook. That's I think is the best way to start an agency. And again, even, even when you are starting now, you might do some of the work by yourself, you know, to, to just save some money, but, I really think that you're not saving at all because you can scale when things are automized and you're outsourcing, you can scale really quicker. Now, again, this is from personal experience, but I lost so many times trying to figure out Facebook. I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I bought courses also. And um, <laughs> the only thing I had to do is to find a client and hire somebody. And that's it. So I lost so many times trying to figure out everything by myself, but I just didn't have to be by my own. I just had to find great people. And I'm going to show you exactly where you can find great people and also how to, how to tell that they are great, right? So the first platform, as I told you, is your personal brand, which I believe strongly. You can just shoot a message on, uh, on Instagram, on Facebook, and you might be surprised how, how much answers you will get. Uh, the second platform is Upwork and I'm going to uh, tell you exactly on how to use Upwork in order to find great people. And finally, a platform that not a lot of, not a lot of people have told about is Facebook groups. You need to leverage Facebook groups. You know, for example, you can go in any Facebook groups related to SMMA and just post a message like, Hey guys, I'm looking to outsource my Facebook art. 
uh, ads, my Facebook ads. I'm in the restaurant niche and I'm looking to um, hire, um, you know, to hire somebody. Uh, just send me a DM if you are interested. So that's basically it. You can hire somebody. You will get 10 to 15 messages, 10 to 15 DMs, and you just need to filter from there. So Facebook groups, again, I hired people from Facebook groups. It's very, very powerful and you can find great people because in Facebook group, they are experts. Even, even in, I mean, even in private public groups, you know, where you don't have to pay a course or anything, you, you can find great people, right? So now how to use Upwork? Well, the first thing that I want everybody right now watching this video to do is to create a business account on Upwork and create a job posting. It's very important and it's actually very easy. So go to Upwork and create a business account right now. It will take you two minutes and then create a job posting with uh, the work that you want to outsource. Now for this work, uh, this work may make sure that the job is clear, is precise and you include exactly what do you want to get done. So in the description, give as much infos as possible. And now to filter people, so we we'll get a lot of messages uh, from people that tell you that they can do the work. Now ask them always for previous work, but I'm going to tell you more exactly in my three step process on how to hire and how to filter people. I will tell you exactly, I, I mean, I will tell you more about it, but always make sure that you have previous work, that you have case studies. Also, uh, you need to ask them like how much it will cost you to uh, get this job. It's a very important info, obviously. And, you know, as I said, you will get 10 to 15 people messaging you and it's the time to filter people. You need to hire only great people for your team. You know, it's just much more better even for yourself and for, for your agency, it's just much more better to hire great people and to work with, um, you know, with great people because you will grow all together. And that's, I think, the beauty of uh, working with uh, great people, obviously. Um, Again, a little tips is uh, that I always recommend you to uh, take fixed costs and not pay people per hour because in my opinion, you can lose a lot of money uh, from it. And the best thing you could do is just, you know, hire people uh, for fixed costs. So, you know, exactly every month your cash flow. And that's very important because you want to be able to predict every month, uh, you know, to predict your business basically. So now the most interesting is my three steps process when I hire digital marketing contractors for my agency. So this is something that I'm sharing with you guys and basically just advises on how to maximize your chance of hiring a great freelancer. Okay. At the end of the day, you can always make a mistake, but this is, this will just uh, maximize your chance of hiring great people. And the first thing, which is very important, as I said, is case studies. Now I want real case studies. So I'm always asking people that I want to work with, like, show me the problem, show me the steps that you, you know, that you've taken in order to solve it. I want people, I want problem solver, you know, I want people that, uh, ha that can think that, um, that when things can go wrong, wrong, they can just figure out a solution by themselves. I don't want to tell them everything to do, right? I want them to innovate. I want them to find new solutions. So I think problem solving is uh, one of the greatest way to tell uh, if, uh, if somebody is great. And when I ask for case studies, I always ask them like, what's, uh, what turns wrong in this, uh, you know, in this situation? What did you have that uh, just uh, didn't turn the way that you wanted? And what did you do in order to, to fix it, right? So it can be any challenges that, uh, that arose and how they, they were solved and uh, also the results of the campaign. Okay, so that's the first step, case studies. Always ask for case studies. Now let's get to the second step. 
and it's a very important step is don't care at all about the metrics because people will tell you you know they will show you cheap leads one dollars leads they will show you uh, CTR, CPM, all those metrics and guys don't care about it because it's not it's not relevant in my opinion. The only thing that you need to look at is how much money came from those campaigns and that's that's it, that's the most important. You need to focus on ROI always. And uh, because, you know, I had a problem with this is that a lot of people just showed me like yeah, look, my cost per lead is very cheap, just we can work together. But no, you know, you can have um, cheap leads, but uh, it just can be leads that are not quality leads, right? And, um, you know, even if the, the client have a responsibility in this, because they are the one that uh, will follow up with the leads, you al always need to be sure that uh, the leads are high quality leads. So I, I never focus on metrics and I think you, should, you shouldn't do it too. Uh, don't focus on CTRs, on CPMs, or on all those metrics. At the end of the day, the only thing that matters is how much money came, came out from those campaigns. Okay, so the third thing is platform. And that's something that is very important, you know. Um, just ask them, are you just a Facebook marketer? Or can you leverage other platform? Because look, the more well versed your market, uh, your marketer is, the more results you will get from your campaign. Because you will get, you will have a marketer that just understand and know how to leverage other platforms. And those kind of that's the kind of people that you want to work with. That's the kind of people that you um, that the kind of people that will just give you great results. Okay, and on your hand, I want you guys to always have a CRM and be ready to use it. And you also need to have a sales process in place and plan for the leads that you will get from your Facebook marketer uh, or your, your freelancer, you know, because if you hire a freelancer that will give you a bunch of leads, but you don't have a sales pre process in place in order to follow up the leads, it's just not gonna work, you know? I know the client is, res is responsible for calling up and following up the leads, but it's also res your responsibility to make everything possible for the clients to get results. So when you are getting a lead, follow them up with uh, an SMS, with an email, have a sales process in, in place in order to convert that lead. I think that follow up is not, uh, you know, it's not talked about enough in uh, the marketing space, but follow up is actually one of the most important because you know, you will get so, so a lot of leads and you want those leads to convert. So you need a sales process in place and that's the most important. I've lost a, uh, a lot of money from myself and uh, also from my clients because I didn't follow up on the leads that I was bringing them. And, uh, you know, when you have a client that uh, is not following up and you're not following up also, you will have very bad results. I can promise you this. But so, yeah, if you have a client that is responsible and that uh, is calling the leads and following up with them and on your part, you have a great sales process in place in order to follow up the leads, you will have great results. So guys, that's about it for this video. Again, always have case studies. I think that's the most important and don't care about metrics. Have, you know, people that uh, make money. That's the most important. Uh, again, we talked about Upwork, about Facebook group, Facebook group, very important. If you can leverage Facebook groups and your personal brand, you will find great people. I promise you. Um, but yeah, at the end of the video, I hope that you liked it and that uh, it has been uh, helpful. If you have any questions, you can ask me on Instagram. I answer all DMs and you can also comment uh, in this video. You can comment, for example, uh, which if you have an idea of another video that uh, I can make for you that could help you, just comment about it. So that's it for this video. I will see you guys in another video.